key hearing over the placement of a sexually violent predator is taking place this morning and there are many people there making their voices heard. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal joining us live outside the Hall of Justice downtown with what people are worried about, Kelly. That's right, and that hearing got underway about 10 a.m. this morning. But before that, there were about 20 protesters gathered here outside the courthouse uh, with signs. They're angry, they're frustrated. Uh, we talked to one woman who has two young girls who says if Michael Martinez is placed in Borrego Springs, they'll live two doors down from him. It's really sad for me in my position that a person is going to live um, two houses away from me and from my children. And it's very sad because if this happens, um, our life is going to change. And she certainly isn't the only one who feels that way. Now, these are pictures of the proposed home that the state wants to place Michael Martinez at in Borrego Springs. Several people talked about not feeling safe, going to sleep at night if Martinez is living there, not being able to let their kids play outside. Uh, a man who lives across the street told us lots of children live in the neighborhood. They don't have law enforcement nearby, and this is someone who is supposed to be monitored 24 hours a day. Now, according to County Supervisor Jim Desmond, Martinez was convicted in four separate cases of molesting children younger than 14 years old. So a hearing right now is underway at the courthouse where a judge is going to decide if that home in Borrego Springs is appropriate for Martinez. The protesters made the two hour drive here this morning to be here to voice their opposition. So back out here live, it's unclear exactly how long that hearing is going to last. Some of these hearings go on all day long. Now, meanwhile, this is not the only sexually violent predator that the state wants to place in Borrego Springs. Another hearing is set for next month in a separate case and the protesters say they'll be at that hearing as well. Kelly Hesedal, CBS 8.